All right, all right, all right. Let, let me introduce myself again. I think they forgot who we are, bro. Uh, yes, for <laughs> sure. Come on, go ahead. Introduce yourself, please, sir. My name is uh, Christoph, Christoph Lil Chris, the third. Christopher the Third. You name okay. it, Christopher, Christopher Itchy, Chris. Uh, and this to my friend, my partner is uh, Lil Boy Drake. <laughs> Lil Boy Drake. Okay, okay. okay. Lil, well, not even Lil, Lil. Not even Lil Drake. Yeah, I'm Lil, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, coming, coming back. back, coming back, back. back. Uh, no wave, no tape, no Drake. Waves, no tape, you right. <laughs> Yo. I got the hair Molina all out again. Y'all yeah, know how it <laughs> is. Y'all yeah, know how it is. I got it. You got the hair Molina too. No, so I, I, know, but I, I, got, I got it for life. Yeah, I got it for life. I got the same one too that you have. Like literally the same. And you have the little Pico too. It's okay, Chris. We'll get over this. We're coming back, guys. Uh, it's been a minute, um, a, a uh, long minute. You know, I think uh, we're both just just trying to figure life. I think you guys are trying to figure life. Quarantine kind of yeah. got us all kind of weird. For sure. Um, but it's it's good to be back. Bro. For sure, my guys. Yeah, I good love to you, see kiddo. You. We just literally started talking about some things that we didn't even realize. Like, oh, we're actually like already yeah, starting the conversation. Yeah, so. Happens all the time. So tell me, bro. Tell me. Well, I got two things I want to talk about. Yeah. Two things I put up on uh, Instagram. Right. Two topics. Um, we ain't talking about my tape. No, not talking about your tape. Because you sent me that. Like, yo, you got no yeah, tape. No, no. No, 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 no. First of all, <laughs> not that one. My barber came back. We good now? All right. Don't be trying to talk to me like this. This guy got his. F- you know, you know, you know, you know how somebody got their feelings hurt. When you send them something, you know, and they don't ever reply to that shit, like, you know, you just think, like, okay, they probably saw it, whatever. You know, you don't really think about that shit, right? And they hit you with that thing days later. <laughs> they be like, but you remember that time you talked about that? That's why, like, you know, know, they was laying in bed uh, the whole time. Uh, and they know. was like, this, like, while they was in bed, they're like, you know what I mean, it you is. got no tape? Let me go check the mirror. Yeah. No, you wake up. Let's think about it. You in bed. It's dark. You wake up. You turn the light on. You get out of bed to go check your <laughs> you tape. You're like, you're like. To go, like, Damn, man, man, my tape is so My tape is all right. It's That's exactly bad. what happened to Chris the other day. I know it now because you brought that thing in there. Like, Damn. I was like, hold up. Hold up. Wait, what? Because, you know, Damn. all I see is a message and I see no tape. I'm like, who he talking about himself? Then I see you just ranking on me. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm about to talk to you right now because I'm about to be petty about it. <laughs> He's like, you know what? We're going to leave this thing alone. We're going to leave it another day. I'm not even bother me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll figure it out. But all right, two topics. Before we get to those two topics, yeah. anything, any, uh, you know how we try to start it now, yeah. record shit of the week, all that stuff. Listen, I haven't been on Twitter or social media that much at all. Mm-hmm. So I have not seen any regular sweep. But what I can tell you is that people are 100% back on bullshit. Oh, yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. For oh, sure. yeah. So I, and now it's just, all you do is wear a mask on your BS. Yes, <laughs> exactly. But people, remember we were talking about it first. I was like, damn, bro, people need to get back on it. People are back on it. Oh, yeah. So Some people are out here wild. Do you have anything? Any, any uh, uh nah, anything, man. Anything at nah, all? Nah, I just, I just be like, Looking at, at young people and I'll be questioning life stories, bro. Mm. You know, like like my timeline is very safe. Like okay. my timeline, like anybody can close my channel. I ain't worried, gotcha. except for like that the sporadic like things that really be alerting. And then I'll be yeah. seeing who why it pops up because somebody I follow liked it. Gotcha. And I'll be like, you can't like this. You're yeah. not allowed to like this. Like yeah. it's like, yo, young people out here, bro. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, yeah need Jesus. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, need Jesus. We know about y'all. I know that's what you're talking about too because <laughs> every time I'll be like seeing some perverted stuff on Twitter, I'll be like, I don't follow this. And I see like, right, you know, you see a Yeah, it's like really it's small. Like the fine print. <laughs> A like by like yeah. so and so and yeah, so. Yeah, exactly. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Bro. I see y'all too. Y'all be yeah, nasty. Bro, yeah. I see y'all. I and I ain't about. judging you. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm I ain't judging, judging you. you. I'm judging <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying, like you know, like you need to change your name because your name be popping up. Well, yeah, and that's the worst part. The people that have their like their name, like not even a nickname, yeah. not even like a, you know, just add a letter, my guy. You should just have like a B, just add a B or a C or. So like it makes me question, letters. like oh maybe I don't know who this is, exactly. but I know who you are. Exactly. Yeah, when your name is like Joey, Joey. Uh, whatever, Gonzalez. <laughs> My nigga, there's only one Joy Gonzalez I know, nigga. Hey, so I, know right. you, I know what you're being to. I know exactly. What you're hey, about you me. can't hit me with that. It's just Twitter. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah, buy it. Yo, I've yet to see anything, um, like, I guess crazy. I will say this. Uh, that I do kind of probably want to talk about, right? Two things that you probably have uh, your words on. Well, one thing is, um, apparently, Tory Lane's out here shooting Yo, for real. Tory Lane's really shot, shooting. He shot her in the butt? Of, is that what happened? No, in the foot. He oh. shot her in the foot. So this is what I've, I've heard from the story. Um, is Apparently, they were in the SUV. I don't know what happened or what got popping. Meg ended up getting shot in the foot. Um, Tory got arrested on gun charges oh, yeah. or whatever. And well, he got on um, gun possession or gun whatever. Possession, right. Which is a big distinction. It, right, right. I, I'm, court stuff, loss of, I don't know, whatever. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. 
and Meg went to the hospital, got the bullet out, whatever, right? Obviously, everybody goes in, memes, yada, 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 right? But she's saying, like, she's not really trying to snitch, though. She didn't, no, but I, there was a, a thing I saw on Instagram. Apparently, this, you know, the lawyer that was on Takashi's yeah. case, and, mm-hmm. you know, that guy's gotten kind of popular, right? So I guess he talks about celebrity cases. He said that supposedly there's a video of what happened, and if there is a video, then Meg doesn't have to press charges, then I guess, like, the it state just, Yeah, whoever, it becomes... Yeah, yeah, they're allowed to Yeah, you know, because charge him. they have the facts. Exactly. So, I don't know. What, I have no idea what's happening. I just think it's so coincidental how, like, Tory Lanez, was one of his popular songs is Shooters, right? Or shooting, you know, uh, going out here with the shooters, nah, nah, whatever, however the song goes. Um, and he ends up having a gun charge. It's I, I weird. don't know, bro. I don't, I, you know me. I don't keep track of one of this. But this kind of yeah, confused yeah. me. Yeah, it's weird. Because it's weird. I was just like... Like what? Like it's, like you know you got the notifications yeah. like like Tory is, is charged and then like a couple minutes later it's like oh Megan is reported to be in the same car yeah and then it's like oh Megan's going to the hospital with a gun gun yes, wound yes. and so then you start putting the pieces together like You're wait like, what's <laughs> happening? Yeah. Dude, listen, what have I have not like personally I don't listen to the um, to music that often you know I do listen to it here they not Meg too much TikTok right? TikTok yeah exactly you know Meg, Meg is for the girls mostly but um. But again, I have no idea what happened. I just wanted to say that because it's weird, such an odd yeah. thing. But I do want to talk about it. I know you got something to say about this. Kanye. Hit me with Yo, it. Hit me man. with it. Let's go for it. Well, can I say... Actually, let me say my preference. I feel yeah, like you yeah. have more to say about it, right? I don't know, I'm man. I love Kanye. First of all, let's let's start this by, by the fact that we are both big Kanye fans. Yeah. Uh, and we talk about the Kanye rapper, Kanye fashion, yeah. Kanye person. We are both big fans. Let's, let's start the premise there because yes. I think you guys need to understand where we're coming from. Exactly. So I hear the snippet, right? Just a snippet. Uh, Harriet Tubman oh, yeah. didn't mm-hmm. actually free slaves, right? She just took them to like a different white right. people. Right, <laughs> and different white people, right? That statement to me, as far as my education goes, again, I'm a very uneducated yeah. person. I don't know, whatever. That statement is true, right? To me, as far as I know, right? Harriet Tubman didn't actually like fr- necessarily mm-hmm. free Because again, what he's trying to say is like, yo, she didn't actually free the slaves. He, you know, she underground tunnel and then they end up to the north right yeah. and, then and then they end up working for some white person in the north exactly, yeah right? i understand the, the context exactly. of it, yeah, for sure so now the thing is that i um actually saw snip you know he screamed at one yeah. of the girls mm-hmm. she actually put her own video up um okay so basically this is how the story goes right so there's this girl i, I guess he he gets to ask he chose people to ask questions you know he answered some questions one white girl interrupted him and instead of like lashing out at her he went he gave her a hug he told her I guess positive things, mm. send her on her way. Um, this black girl ask her, ask him, I guess, a line of questions, or, or I think she interrupts him and he snaps on her, right? Says, like, oh, you're gonna be just like, you're trying to be just like the TMZ person, except your face is covered, we can't see you. She takes the mask off, I'm here, yada, 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 right? Obviously, everybody goes off, yo, Kanye mm-hmm. is sick in the head, mental health, yada, yada, yada. I just want to know what your thoughts are on this, because again, you probably have a lot, well, no, you definitely do have a lot more knowledge on, you know, history yada 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 so educate me because me personally from the snippet i saw i didn't think anything was wrong with what he said necessarily Mm -hmm. in context again i'm not a black man so i understand that i cannot relate to you know black people saying Mm -hmm. you are not for us again because that is not my lane Mm -hmm. yeah for sure sure. stay in my lane so again Uh, uh, yeah yeah so i i think um i i think i i I saw somebody say something along the lines of the burden always falls on the speaker not on the hearer Mm, okay. You get me? Like, like when I'm speaking or when you're speaking, it's not m- your responsibility to interpret what I meant. Mm-hmm. It's my responsibility to convey what I meant. Mm. You get me? A- a- and so, uh, and I, and we do this all the time, right? Like, yeah. like you have a president, even though he meant the right thing, said the wrong thing, we're gonna judge him on what he said, not what he meant, yes. right? And so, if if if, you, if a girl, if I go to my girl and be like, yo, you know, this girl is is you're pretty, but she's prettier. That's not what I'm saying. Like, you know, it doesn't matter. What I said is what I said, got right? You, got and you. so, um, makes sense. So I I think a lot of times uh, with Kanye, Kanye understands Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. But Very Kanye true. does not present Kanye to people. In a very 2020 way, you know, mm. like where now we have to be careful with how we convey the message He's not the because right. exactly yeah. because uh, and also he speaks in tangents like yeah. like, you know, like he'll be talking about politics and then he sees the great color. He'll be like, yo, but great. You got to understand the color. Yeah. And so sometimes in stream of conscience, exactly. That's and so yeah. some of those tangents kind of like sound like very, you know, questionable, broken thoughts. And so you start thinking about his mind, like maybe it's broken and 
and um and all these other said server ideas. But yeah, like it wasn't a good look, uh, especially yeah. at, at first because I saw the first the whole Harry Tubman thing, and then I was like, all right, hold up, this is not good. Let me see what's up. And then I started seeing some of the other things he said. Um, uh, you know the abortion thing. Um, uh, I saw that he said that if, if women do want to abort, fine, but if not, we want to support you because it takes a village to build. And so, a part of me, I was like, okay, can I, I, I get where, you, where your heart is in a lot of these things, but I just feel like he presents himself with such, like, unstable mind mm -hmm. always. Yeah. That it is that really who you would want to lead you? Because we yeah. just saw what forty five is unstable as hell. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. do we really want to repeat that? Yeah. And so I feel like a lot of times in that sense, um, I am proud in many ways of how vocal he's being about his faith. Yeah. Because it doesn't seem like it's a season thing. Like no. even in the fact when uh, he was being interviewed by um, I think Forbes. Forbes uh, yeah. You read the Forbes one? I haven't read it. I've okay. seen it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was good. I read it. Yeah. Right. So I, I haven't seen. I don't know if there's a video, but I've I read the thing. Yeah. And so he starts talking about his faith. Sure, you know, there's some points that are, that are very like a little biblical. So people are definitely not gonna like those. Like yeah. he's like, yo, I'm against abortion because god loves life like of course like of course. he's he puts it black yeah, yeah, and white yeah, yeah. and so all that stuff so i'm I'm very proud as a christian man of, of how he's vocal his, his faith doesn't seem to be a season yeah like it seems like he's he's the trying to be rooted in that but I, I, as someone uh you know the bible talks about leadership a lot too mm -hmm. it says that your leaders are going to be judged harsher your leaders are required to be more than the yeah. regular average man right yeah. and so i think in that sense is i feel like he doesn't have the requirements to lead in mm -hmm. my opinion gotcha a and uh, even though in many ways he does lead because he's a fashion pioneer he's a yeah, r rap pioneer he's yeah. a culture pioneer but not in the sense of politically i wouldn't envision wouldn't him. Him i wouldn't envision him as a leader per gotcha. se um i think i think that like those are actually like really interesting projects especially the first part right where you said how it is not the listener's job to try to interpret what the speaker is saying mm -hmm. right it is the speaker's job to do that that, um, as I feel like Kanye has always been the person that you just like we've talked about this before either you love him or you hate him yeah, right? it's either really hard to be between him or you mm -hmm. don't right and I don't know I, I, in many cases I get Kanye just because the shit that he says right he talks about free speech and mm -hmm. people are like oh well that's not free speech that's you know you're being blah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever mm -hmm. whatever I don't know those things. So mm -hmm. for me, when I'm listening to Kanye, you're absolutely right. I may be one of those people that people talk about when you're like, well, you influence X, X amount of people. And so like when they hear you say it, if they're not educated enough, then you're going to sway them. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not going to be swayed by what anybody says at the end of the day, right? I'm still going to have my yeah. own opinions on things. As far as like, you know, the heat that he gets, it's just like, damn, like this guy really gets the heat. But is always. that, you know, but he I speaks loud. Like, he, exactly. he speaks really loud. Because, like, you and I, we, we might say some reckless things, yeah. but we don't have that voice. We don't no. have that volume, you know. Exactly. So, yes. so he but speaks loud. Of course. Right. And he, he's, he's almost, like, fearless when he, yeah. when he says these things. As far as him having mental breakdowns, dude, I don't know, because that's the thing. Like, when you go to the media, right, and you go through all the memes, you're going to see he's having a, a, a another uh, mental breakdown, another uh, misfit, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's like, how can you, like, really, like, organize mm -hmm. that? whole thing in your mind and be like yeah that's what he's going through because i don't know yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I really don't know it's, it's very like but i mean a lot of it's very sporadic so Ex you don't th 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 i think that's the thing like you know i that happens to me a lot where i'm talking and i just hit other points in the conversation because i'm like so lost in train of thought almost mm -hmm. right so i kind of get that aspect i just think again i don't have too much to say about the topic i did want to talk about it a little bit because it's happening i just want to get your point of view on it yeah. I mean, listen, as far as Kanye goes as president, I feel like there will be a lot of people who aren't as naive as we were once, right? Once upon a time. Meaning, I feel like before Trump, everybody was lost as far as what it even means mm. to vote, what it means, like what the impact that you it You mean has. like this generation specifically? Yeah, like this generation okay. specifically, right? I mean, obviously, the older yeah, yeah. ones, they knew yeah, what's Yeah, they know the, sure. the importance. Like the millennials, yeah. like the newer, like mm -hmm, us, mm -hmm. like yeah, the, yeah. the people that are about to be 18 and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know what their generation is. Because I feel like it's talked about and a lot, like the Breakfast Club brings a bunch of political people on. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? everything's become political exactly. now. Exactly, like, like you see people talk, like yeah. Joe Budden, like everybody. Yeah, your rappers about are, like, you know, rappers that you don't normally associate with this. Exactly, yeah. like, like they're talking about yeah. these things. So I feel like, you know, this has opened up a lot. It's just opened the eyes for a lot of younger people mm -hmm. to kind of maybe, you know, be in the mix a little bit, especially with this whole, like, Black Lives Matter movement, mm -hmm. which a lot of people joined in, which you have to get political if you're really about yeah, yeah. making yeah. change. Mm -hmm. So as far as, like you said, voting and him being a leader, I don't think that Kanye will get the same 
like luxury that he would have if he would have ran when Trump was running. Mm-hmm. Like when Trump was running, maybe, maybe. Yeah. But I, I still think he mm-hmm. wouldn't have won. And, and, and I think it's interesting. Like uh, some people are making the argument that he will be taking away the black vote from Biden in many ways, and that could lead to a Trump victory, right? Mm-hmm. So like there is a lot to wow. this election. Right. It's not just like if he were to run for president, right? It's not just the fact that he has a chance of winning because he may not have a chance of winning, yeah. right? But he has a chance of taking votes from the other person yeah. if you don't if you are against Trump if you're for Trump then whatever you know you vote for Trump but he may have a lot of uh pool young people mm-hmm. or or people who are for the culture people who are just against fed up against the establishment yeah, yeah. and say you know what Biden doesn't represent me Trump doesn't represent me let me go for this guy right yeah. um so i i think that that there's a lot still to the complexity of oh but he might not get elected yeah but he might remove more votes mm-hmm. right he might take away votes he might be a voice that distracts from bigger issues Right, yeah, and so uh, definitely, I think it is interesting to keep a watch on this political question for you. What do you think of? I guess because I guess everyone's saying it's gonna be Biden and Trump, right? What do you think of that leadership then? Of both uh, of them, um, I, th- I think a lot has to be the question is, uh, who's Vi- Biden's VP? Like, that's a big mm-hmm. part, right? Um, because the, the reason Trump got a lot of, of support was because he picked Mike Pence, mm-hmm. right? Mike Pence is seen as a as your standard prototypical wasp, right? White Anglo-Saxon Protestant, like, you know, gotcha. good family, right? Good background, Republican, conservative, Christian, right? A man of good character, whatever else yeah. you want to you know, use. Uh, and so that, that swayed a lot of the evangelical vote that way. Because, mm-hmm. you know, at first, yeah. Christians were bashing Trump. Then, you know, they, peop- they picked Pence, and now he's a man of God. Um, uh, yeah, I got you. Um, <laughs> I, see, I, I see the sway. But, but, uh, but the, that, the evangelical vote was big, big reason of why Trump won. Yeah. And so um, I think that, that that plays on. It's like, who's Biden going to pick uh, to compete with this VP? Because Biden himself, uh, you know, you seen the, I don't know if you've seen the, the commercials where it's like, is Biden okay? Like he's like an old man in the the, the commercials that Trump it. puts up. Really? Yeah, it's like, he's like, just <laughs> like, like, like he's like an like old dude, you know, who doesn't know what's going you. on, and he is an older gentleman. Yes. Uh, so and a lot of his views are are not as, um, I don't know, dem- democratic as not as liberal as people would like mm-hmm. because he is an older gentleman. Like, yeah, of course. So, uh, he's, more conservative, uh, so he's definitely more conservative. So so. I think a lot in, in this election, I think we all should be careful from this, is most people are not voting for something, they're voting against something. Mm. And you got to be careful because how much are you willing to compromise to vote against something? So it's because, it, like because if you're willing to vote against Trump, yeah. right, uh, because you just can't stand him, mm. uh, be careful with the things you're voting for. If, you vote, if, if you're willing to vote against Biden because you can't stand him, yeah. be careful for the things you're voting for. So this is, and I'm sorry to cut you yeah. off. So this is almost like the, what, what would it be, the 2012, no, not 2012, whoa, 2016 election then, right? That's, that's what it would be. With, uh, with Barack? Uh, no, not Barack. It would have been Trump. When was Trump elected? 2016? Yeah, 2016. So it would have oh, been with Trump Clinton. and Clinton, right? Like it's, you almost have like the lesser of two evils. Yeah, that and so it's like, yeah, it's like, all right, uh, because, and, and remember, like sometimes politics is so complex. That's why people get frustrated. Yeah. Because in, in Trump's case, right, um, going back to evangelicals, this, which is a big matter, is they were like, oh, well, Trump might be whatever, but he's going to elect two uh, Supreme Court justices. So we want those to be conservatives gotcha. because we don't want the law of the land yeah, yeah, yeah. to become too liberal, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this case, now you look at uh, uh, Ruth is getting really old, right? She's going through cancer, I think, again. Yeah. Uh, you got, what, what was this guy's name? Um, he's also getting old. So there might be yeah. two seats in the Supreme Court again gotcha. that might be at stake, right? Mm. Trump got to pick a conservative, right? Yeah. Now it's like, are you gonna push towards the liberal? Are you gonna push towards the conservative? So there is more at stake than just who's the president, right? It's also like, what are the repercussions gonna have after that president is gone? Mm. Because at least the, the Supreme Court is, is for life until they they retire themselves or they die, right? Yeah. So he Trump might be gone in four years, but his picks in the court are gonna be there or, in twenty years, forever, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Forever, like so and, and the laws that they pass and the laws that they reject. Yeah, that can it matters. You know, yeah, and so there is more to this than just like do I like Trump 
do I like Biden? Do I hate Trump? Do I like hate Biden? Okay, so what advice would you give then, if you have any, to like the younger people or any or anyone watching this right now, right? That might like just like me, because I'm not educated in politics. I'm just not into it, right? Mm -hmm. I I feel like I haven't gotten like again. I understand that it affects my livelihood. It mm -hmm. affects yep. everything in my life. You get me? Because it's where I live, right? Mm -hmm. But I still don't. I guess like that's not enough for me to pique my curiosity enough to like try to yeah. dive mm -hmm. into this. Yeah. So, yeah. What I guess, what would you like? What kind of advice would you give someone? I guess, like me, any age, yeah. as as far as like getting into it, trying to like do some type um, of research. Obviously, um, there is I think a, a lot of good uh, reputable organizations put out like like fact sheets, right? Okay. And so they give you at least like the main points, mm -hmm. and you can look at where those main points matter to you, yeah. and what they look like for each candidate. Mm -hmm. Right, you may not dive into every bill, you may not dive into everything, yeah. but definitely at least look at like the main idea of where they stand. Yeah. Because also, don't believe everyone and don't believe anyone, like, yeah. be critical of everyone. Because nowadays, we're just throwing out words we don't know what they mean, yeah. Right, liberal, conservative, right, left. I don't even blue, know what right, left is. You know, red. And so, okay. and, and the whole idea. Wait, all right, left is blue or red? That's what it is? So it's like, yeah, blue, red, Democrat, Republican, right? That's and what so right, right and left and is? So, yeah, so, so what's the right, what's the left? So leftists, right, are people who are a little more um, like fascist and all this stuff, right? And so right, yeah, mm. right is? I'm, I always got to think about the spectrum. Yeah, yeah and so right, so we're talking about the uh, socialists on the other side, which is the liberal, mm. like, because uh, this is the thing, right? Gotcha. This is where everybody goes to the extremes all the time, right? Okay. So everybody goes to the extremes all the time. Like, the extreme on on the Republican side would be fascism, right? Okay. Which is like you know, uh, what you where you saw essentially in Italy, what you saw mm -hmm. essentially with uh, Hitler, yeah. right? And so then the extreme on the liberal side is you end up being communist, right? Mm -hmm. Socialist communist, where yeah. everybody's equal, everybody has the same thing, but Cuba, everybody's poor. Yeah. Russia, USSR, yeah. Russia, right? Yeah. Uh, and so the the uh, we all go to like, all right, if we if we vote for this guy, we're gonna end up here or we're gonna end up here. Got but it. there's also repercussions in within the middle. Right, um, and I know that it's really hard to find a middle ground because yeah. you some some issues matter more to you than others, like whether it's abortion, immigration, whether it's uh, hu uh, political reforms or whether it's like human reforms, whether it's war or whatever. You know, is there any middle party? Uh, there is parties, but this country is basically a bipartisan. Like yeah, for sure. there's, there's libertarian, yeah, there's yeah, yeah, blah blah blah, yeah, yeah. but they don't amass the votes that are significant that, to yes. you know. So like ultimately, really, like someone like like Trump wouldn't have run Republican. But he saw an opportunity that the other Republicans sucked. So he was like, yo, I can just step in and fit here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, just see. You, you yeah. Like, and so the, the whole idea is a lot of times is, you know, because uh, like, even in the Democratic Party, right, you have Biden and you have AOC. Mm -hmm. AOC is way more liberal socialist than Biden. Mm -hmm. But they're both Democrats, right? Gotcha. Because it's like, all right. We have to pick a party that, that has uh, some chance of doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get of me? Course, yeah. And so then, some type of effect, and right? eventually, you know, whether it's Paul Ryan on the left, on the left, or it's AOC on the right, they're gonna support that candidate because yeah. they're like, well, at least our party won, mm. right? And so I understand all that frustration. What I'm saying is wow. be critical, because a lot of times we're throwing terms at each other. We don't even understand what those terms look like, what yeah. they mean, what they imply. And, and so all those political terms lose me all the yeah, time. And so, yeah, Liberal, but, yeah. like all those terms, I'd be like, "Bro, what are y'all talking about?" Bro? Yeah, I don't like, know. Like for example, somebody know. says socialist, everybody think atheist. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's like uh, socialist just means that it's more for the social, the, the populist, right? Yeah, yeah. I do understand that most of the socialist governments end up being atheist because yeah. they want to eliminate all kinds of diver uh, diversion, division, yeah, yeah, of right? And faith is one of the biggest divisions. You, you know, and I'm sorry to cut you off there, but you know, like I was just having a similar conversation with that, and it's like, like. The way this country complains about things, mm -hmm. I feel like, realistically, the and again, this this is not me saying this is the best thing for the country. I'm saying mm -hmm. this is the best thing for the people. And we all know that people don't always know what's best for them, right? But I feel like the way this country complains, these people are basically saying just take God away from everything. Because if you eliminate mm -hmm. God, then you eliminate the whole conversation of abortion whether yeah. it's right or mm -hmm. wrong right you eliminate a, a lot of like yeah, yeah. Uh, same sex politics, marriage exactly um, with, with the within the pr i was gonna say pride but within the lgbtq mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. you get me like so a lot of issues that you know you see protesting about or x y and z you kind of eliminate when you take religion out of it per se i don't think that's necessarily the thing to go to but again i always hear this all the time right like um, the founding fathers or whatever, right? You know, writing the Declaration of Independence was based on God and you know Christianity, mm. this and that. But then the same guy, like Thomas yeah. Jefferson, I had, had slaves, slaves and they had a whole family with exactly. yeah, yeah. So, so you kind of see how, you know, 
I don't want to say older white men, but I want to say just men in general have used religion to constantly control everywhere people mm. uh, and this has happened everywhere around the world yeah, yeah. i'm sure this has happened in africa i'm sure this happened yeah. in the well, yeah, definitely yeah. Happened in the yeah middle you, ha- sure. you have the crusades you have the holy wars you, you name it right. everywhere right the conquistadors coming right. to preach the faith or right. whatever so right? it's, it's all and you know so you see time and time again how religion plays this like you know because again uh, we talked about this before like just you know religion is really just like an entire disconnect from who God is, mm-hmm. right? It, it removes the relationship aspect of what God is, right? And now it gives you this like almost routine mm-hmm. type thing. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a rule book, good. exactly. So I think that's you know overall, man. Like this, when I see this whole political thing, is always like messed up because of that whole. Like I, th- at least from my point of view, it's always like I just feel like it's constantly just people fighting against God. Like mm-hmm. the, basically what it is, because like you said. A lot of Republicans, like if you're a Republican you, and you're a Christian, it's probably because of the no abortion, no gay mm-hmm. marriage, like mm-hmm. all of that stuff, right? You're probably going for that. Yeah. Just Again, that's what I mean by religion. That right there shows you that like, okay, like this person follows some of the rules that I have to follow. So sure, I'll vote yeah, for you. Exactly. They kind of l- align with... Exactly, yeah. which is it's, it's b- yeah, it's yeah, BS, yeah, yeah, yeah. in other words. Yeah, I mean, we know it's BS. But, uh, okay, I, I kind of want to move away from the political yeah, topic, yeah. but finish us off with you know yeah um so sure. i was having a conversation about cancel culture right okay and um and i and i, and I was saying that the cancel culture needs to be canceled yeah because it does not allow for growth mm-hmm. uh, and, and so like my my question has always been to myself like is there like an expiration date on stupid mm-hmm. like am i allowed to be stupid or the moment i make a stupid mistake i'm officially canceled forever like, am I allowed to grow? Am I allowed to make yeah. mistakes? Am I allowed to say the wrong thing? Yeah. And, and I feel like because cancel culture has become such a big thing for us, mm-hmm. uh, the political spectrum is becoming so divided mm. that now it's either like, all right, you're not for LGBTQ rights, you are a bigot, right? You're not for a police reform, you are a bigot. You're not, or you are hateful, or you are racist, right? Yeah. Uh, you're not for, and so we're just labeling people and putting them in boxes instead of, leading conversations that can lead to a common understanding because what makes this country and i don't want to say it's so great because i know it's not like not the, the, the the comment the word that we want to say but we know, but, we know it is. but it's the best country for now right yes. so uh is the fact that we can disagree without having to feel persecuted because i disagree with you right, right, right. so if we ever start persecuting each other because of that opinion yeah. then we lost the only thing that really matters which is the freedom of speech for each other and the freedom of disagreement right. Right. and so i think that that's the one thing we have to be careful with um it's don't don't get so frustrated that you become disconnected because it makes it it's gonna matter bro yeah. uh it, like immigration law may not matter to you but it may matter to your grandparents and to your parents yeah. it may not matter to you but it may matter to your neighbor right uh political reform may not matter to you but it matters to somebody who looks like us yeah. or somebody who looks a little darker than us yeah uh you name it uh if you're conservative if you're liberal if you're this or you're that you know, just make sure that you remember you're human and we're all going to make mistakes. So let's have conversations mm. first. Facts. I, and I love that you ended that right there, too, because it's so true. Like, the I feel like, you know, cancel culture really just comes from like, first of all, I, I think that some people definitely deserve to. Get oh, yeah. But that, that's yeah. like, like sure. yeah, if you're a rapist, and if you're exactly whatever, cancel them. I know them, you're yeah. not talking about those people no. for sure. You're talking about like, you know, saying words and stuff like that. Right. Like the things that you say mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Right. Like we've canceled. So many people for what they say, and it's true. A lot of us are uneducated, and we don't know. We speak on things that we may not know, and I understand why people come. But I feel like a lot of uh, the big part of people in cancel culture is a bunch of people who, like, like again, like, they don't bring it in. So it's like, oh, things you won't care about next week. It's just that. Mm-hmm. It's like you cancel somebody. Like, oh, let's just cancel this person because this person's saying rah, 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 rah. And, and you don't even care about, like, like no, you don't care about them like trying to come and apologize mm, nope. you don't care about educating them nope, you just nope. want to come and cancel mm-hmm. them because it's like a thing to do on the internet because realistically cancel culture is just that yeah. internet stuff you get but, me? but it, uh, nowadays internet is so important that you you're not only it's defaming fire. people yeah you're losing losing them business you're getting them fired you saw the whole thing with nick yes <laughs> it's for, like for, uh, yes. for the anti-semitic uh comments right comments. And, and so I I, did you see the podcast yeah, yeah i saw some of it and I so i understand it. like obviously it, it was bad it was really bad but was it? Uh, it was really bad. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it was essentially saying, like, uh, you know, like white people are the savages who want to be like black people, and because they don't have the melanin, they don't, they they're animals, and so oh, and okay. this idea, like, okay. they so give them the Jewish he, and he whatever. About to say that. He's getting yeah. into like Hitler. Yeah, like. and so like he was like, you know, the the supremacy, you, and yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. okay, homie. So it was bad. It was bad. 
Um, and I and I do know that he needs to be corrected, but I always stand by what the Bible teaches about correction. Yeah. Which is you bring it to that person's attention. Yeah. If that person doesn't come, then I bring another witness. Mm -hmm. If that person still doesn't see it, then at that point, peace out, homie. I tried. Gotcha. But I don't just cancel and forget about a person. Yeah. Because they're you human. Try. Yeah, try. they're human. I'm trying to convey that maybe you're wrong and I want to show you yeah. that, you know, what the deal is. And so I think that we need more grace for each other. Yeah, and I agree. Um, Hit me. Move on. Let's move on real quick, right? Okay, so not to take forever on this, right? Um, Two things I want to talk about, right? One is right up your lane because you know about this and I'm going to give you all the praises for it because you deserve it. And I'll tell you why. But first, let's get on to this. So I, I've been seeing two things, right, a lot lately. And I will say, like, crazy a lot but it's kind of here right one thing is um i've been seeing people repost a lot of like um keep your like you know if you want to buy a house keep it on the low if you want to buy a car keep it on the low if you have things that you want to do keep it on the low if you have plans keep it on the low right because um you know you have people around you that you know like they're plotting on your downfall mm -hmm. and don't forget like your friends they want to see you do good but never better than them right mm -hmm. i've been seeing that a lot lately and my response, like, my immediate mental response to that has always been, you need new friends. Mm -hmm. Because why should you not be able to share something that you want to do or want to accomplish in your life mm -hmm. with your friends? Yep. Like, those, your friends are supposed to be, you know, the people around you that support you. Why do you say and or think that you have people around you that don't want the best for you? Then why are you around mm -hmm. them to begin with? Yeah. You get me? Yeah, for sure. I think that that's very important for everyone to understand right now. I personally, and even though, you know, and I'll talk about it um, in a little bit, but, you know, the past couple of weeks, I haven't been with my friends as mm -hmm. much. Right? Like, you know, I haven't seen you in, like, f forever, right? I haven't seen Eddie, like, probably since, like, probably two weeks or something like that, right? When I used to see you guys a lot more mm -hmm. constant, right? But, you know, regardless of that, I still know that I can reach out to you guys, no problem, For whenever, sure. yeah. and you guys are always going to be there. You get me? That, that will never change. So, it's it's so, like, I just don't understand that. You get me? Like, it's it's very, like, hard for me to understand how... And, again, it's not that I don't understand in this aspect, because I get that there could... I understand There's that some there haters out there. There's some haters, haters out there, I yeah. get that, you know, as you're growing up in your life and you're maturing, that not all your friends come with you. Yeah, you know some mean? things are grown, exactly. some friendships are grown. So I completely understand that. However, I still don't feel mm -hmm. like, you know, whoever you choose to be around, you should... I, mean, I even saw this one, right? Before I even finish that statement. I even saw one that followed it that was like, oh, you know, I don't want to be um, with, with you people who, like, talk shit and then party with the same people, like... I know that there's a bunch of people like that. I see that in the girl community a lot. You get I me? Mean? Because we know how that goes. But if if you are aware of this, this should not even be a problem in mm -hmm. your life, right? Yeah. If you feel like you have people around you that don't want the best for you or, like, are preying on your downfall, why are you around these people? Mm -hmm. You get I me? Mean? Like, so... I'm, I, I don't say this to bash anybody or judge anybody. I say this to offer a new perspective to you. Because even though this perspective is very simple and is very, like, like obvious. But the thing is, one thing that I've personally learned is, like, you are going to always attract what you are. Mm -hmm. If your intentions are pure, if you are good of heart, if that's who you are as a person... That's who you are going to attract. You get me? Now, if you're an evil person who's wishing downfalls on other people, well, then, of course, that's what you're going to have mm -hmm. around you. You get me? You're not going to have positivity around you. Mm -hmm. You're negative, yeah. right? So that's the kind of the point that I wanted to cover. That's like, yo, it's insane how this, I feel like today, this is still happening. You get mm -hmm. me? How, like, you know, I feel like this talk of positivity and mantras and you know buddhism whatever you want to say wh however you want to go about it right mm -hmm. it's so out there it's so like in your face all the time i feel like at this point we should definitely everyone needs to change their mentality it's like switch you get me because for one negativity will take you nowhere and this is what i mean by that right when you because me i'm a complainer all day you get me when it's hot i'm gonna be like bro i'm hot you get me that's me complaining right i understand that me saying it's hot is not going to make me cold, yeah. right? So I understand that. I understand But you just want to voice it. Yes, but I, I need to let that thing out. You know what I'm saying? So I understand that. But also understand when it comes to very serious matters in life, mm -hmm. you should never be negative about them. Because for one, it ain't going to fix shit. You get me? It ain't going to get nothing sure. done in yeah. your life. It ain't going to do, it ain't going to move you forward. But positivity will. Because what's gonna ne what negativity is going to do to you is you're going to wake up the next day and you're going to feel like shit. And guess what's going to happen in your day? If you mm -hmm. feel good, if you don't feel good, you're not going to do that. Yeah, good. yeah, for sure. Odds are you're mm -hmm. not going to do that well. You get me? Unless God 
came through with a mm-hmm. miracle or it came through with a blessing for you and maybe switched up your day. But the problem is that if you're in a negative state of mind, God can do that for you, give you the opportunity, give you that blessing, and you might not even recognize for it. Sure. And that's the problem yeah, yeah. with being negative on a daily basis. You want to stay positive every day because you want to recognize your blessings. You get me? You want to be able to recognize, like, wow, I'm able to come out and eat Subway today. Even though it's not Prime 112, you're still able to go and buy yourself yeah. a Subway sandwich. You ain't starving. Yep. Exactly. You need to be able to see those blessings every single day of your life. You mm-hmm. get me? And the the best part about those blessings, like, and, and when it comes to blessings, is the people around you. You know, I talk about this a lot when I say, and every time we go on the trip, I yeah. say this, the people around you matter the most. Like, For we sure. need that human mm-hmm. connection. We need that positivity. We feed from people. You know how many times I felt down, and I go around my boys, and, like, you know, mm-hmm. the people that I love, yeah. and it's like, yo, I feel uplifting. Mm-hmm. I feel renewed. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's you need that. You, mm-hmm. need that. you need to feed off of that. So I say that to say, Start to change that mentality. And if you need to cut people off, I don't want to say because it's so obvious, but do it. Because if you really are saying, <laughs> right, like, yo, I have people in my circle I got to watch out for, bro, you got a bad circle. Like, yeah, I'm, like, you, for sure. Your energy is not good. Mm-hmm. You, like, what's within you is not good if you're attracting mm-hmm. that. So you need a 360 that thing real no, quick. No, no, 180. Okay, well, 360 will come right back. You're right. <laughs> I got, damn, but I got to take this clip out and be look dumb. You're right. You got 180, that thing. I want to say 360, but why don't you let that slide, Chris? You didn't <laughs> even let that slide, huh? Everybody, nah, everybody says wait. that. Everybody says that. Everybody be like, yo, you got to do a 360. No, you don't. You got to do a 180 because a right. 360 means you go back to the place you started. 180 I'm means true. you turn around go the other way. Yeah, you know what? I ain't going to even fight that. I'm going to fight <laughs> you right now. That's going to be ego. <laughs> I ain't going to fight you on that. All right, man. So two, this, this is the last thing I got to talk about. That was good, That was good. Yes, this is the last thing I want to talk about, right? So this is going to go hand in hand with what's going on in life right now to everybody, right? So the reason why I probably haven't been as present as I should is because I've been going through what, you know, the social media, the popular people, the cool kids call entanglement. <laughs> Currently, in the, you know what entanglement is, yes? Uh, yeah, of course. Jada, okay. bro, that Thank was bad. You. That Thank was you. so bad. Yes. But first of all, let's talk about that for one quick second, right? Yo. I want, if you have not watched that clip, I want everybody to go that back and watch so that clip. That was so bad. Because I want you, everyone to understand what it means when a woman lies, all right? Yo, that was <laughs> listen, so listen, bad, my bro. I, oh, my She goes, she, I lo- I, this is what I love about Jada. She goes, you know, we're going through um, an entanglement. Yeah. <laughs> Will goes... Entanglement. You mean relationship. relationship? She's like, yeah, yeah. entanglement. Like, she had that little <laughs> yeah. smirk, like, bro, stop it, stop don't, it. Don't try to downplay stop it. it. Yes, <laughs> but I will say this real quick, right? You've told me this, maybe not even on the podcast. You told me this in person, right? You told me that I've been your rock. Mm-hmm. You've told me, you know, I've been support for you. You've been that for me for a very long time, right? And I'll tell you this right now, on God, bro, because you know, one thing I always remember about you, bro, is that you know you've actually brought me closer to god all right and i know that you've always told me that i know that you hold me in your prayers and i've been realizing that lately like a lot of people hold me in their prayers mm-hmm. you get me and one thing you told me about this whole love life or whatever right was that it comes out of nowhere mm-hmm. it's unexpected mm-hmm. it's not you know so essentially that's what happened to me right mm-hmm. so essentially i was literally i was not going for a booty call but it was something like that <laughs> you know what i'm saying it was something like that some, it, it was a it, it was a quick a entanglement call. yeah so it, it, it was some like that i was like okay you know i'm just living my regular mm-hmm. life you know i know how i move mm-hmm. i understand how i move i make certain choices mm-hmm. lifestyle choices that you know i indulge in from time to time right mm-hmm. and so what ended up happening in this situation was i feel like you know, what you said was timing. You talked about timing. You know, timing is everything for mm-hmm. certain things. And that's what I realized that, you know, at this current moment in my life, right, I was already, like, done with, like, the going out so much, mm-hmm. right? I was already done with, like, you know, like, indulging in, mm-hmm. like, certain things that like, I, I, I got tired yeah. of. I experienced them. I understand them. I don't need to continue the repetition because yeah, I know what sure. it is. Exactly, you know? exactly. And so, like, this moment when this moment hit with this person it was weird because it was unexpected right i'm thinking or okay, i'm probably gonna see you like one time mm-hmm. maybe mm-hmm. two and that's about it right but realistically it just developed into a relationship mm-hmm. right or, and, and not necessarily i'm not talking about a romantic relationship i'm talking about it developed into like a more of a friend yeah, relationship yeah. right whereas i would say things that i truly mean in my head you know what i mean and i wasn't trying to be politically correct mm-hmm. here 
I was just being me. Yeah. And this person was accepting me and allowing me to be myself, right? And so with that came certain things that I just did not expect. In other words, an entanglement, yeah. right? So that's why I haven't been as present, right? Because mm-hmm. I've been spending a lot of time there and in spending that time there, I just realized a lot of things about me. You know, I've mm-hmm. talked to you a, a co- about a couple of those things, right? But, you know, I said to say to revisit one of the topics that I talked about, which I reposted, right? Which I said, if you have a girlfriend, right? And everything is going well. Everything is You got to make a fight? No, no. <laughs> The, you're not going to pick a fight. The <laughs> girl's going to pick a fight for sure. That is hands up. Fatima's even on the podcast yeah. saying, yes, you know, whatever. She should give an yeah, example yeah. how she did it to you. Um, she Okay, I don't have the clip on me right now, right? So basically the example went ahead to say, she said like she, you know, wasn't in her right mood or whatever. And she was being a brat. And, you know, you, you already knew because you already know your girl and whatnot. And you kind of just let it slide. And, she, and you know, you, you fix it at the end, right? Yeah, she picked the fight out of nowhere for no reason, right? Because it's just yeah, it's, shit happens, yeah, okay. right? It's a thing. So this is the thing that I've learned, right? For one, girls are crazy. Oh, like, for sure. Like, real life. And the girl that says she's now crazy is the craziest. Yes. So that's that's something that I really learned. It's yeah. like, damn, like, okay, so girls really are crazy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Show. But another thing I've learned, bro, is and, uh, and again to go right back into this right into the whole cheating thing. Let me not get off topic, right? So the whole thing was this: it was if you know that's going to happen, if you might as well cheat because you're going to fight <laughs> anyways, right? That was that was my whole logic, right? Uh, I know, time, right? Man. You said first of all, don't say I don't know because you agree. I put that clip out right now. You nah, agree with me, man. like yeah, yeah, yeah. I was laughing because like you were reckless. Yeah, I was yeah, reckless, yeah. <laughs> but but this is my thing though. It's the difference between fighting. Because I, I, you didn't put the toilet seat down, then yeah, it is yeah, because yeah. you cheated on no, her. No, <laughs> that makes no, 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 no. The, this was This was the point. The <laughs> point was, if everything is going good, everything is going swell, no fighting, no nothing, everything is going good, what's going to happen is the girl is going to eventually be like, I'm getting kind of bored of this. I want some excitement. I want some adventure. So I'm going to pick a fight with this little motherfucker. <laughs> so you can yell at me. You can yell back at each other. And, you know, blah, blah. That's how girls think. This is how girls, you, know, you know the crazy thing? Is, this might not be as logical in their head, but this is how girls think. Like, yeah, like, exactly like, like, let's get the do. firm ones kicking in. It, all it is, I just want some adventure. Because mm-hmm. why? Because like, us guys, we tend to get very routine. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? get into our routine. We get into our comfort yep. zone. And so girls, I realize girls ain't really into that routine stuff. So mm-hmm. that's where, you know, stuff mm-hmm. gets shaky. You yeah. know I mean? If you have a very outspoken girl, she's going to let you mm-hmm. know. And mm-hmm. that's where you get into fights. If you have a very quiet girl, Friction. that thing is done yeah, before friction. you even know it, my mm-hmm. guy. You know what I mean? You're not even going to realize it. You get know I me? Mean? So to backtrack now, right? To Let me backtrack on this. I do not want to necessarily backtrack on my comments. I just think that what I was saying, right, at the mm-hmm. time, it makes sense to a degree. Now I'm gonna tell you why it doesn't make sense today, right? <laughs> why it doesn't make sense today, right? Yeah, it's like the transgression of transformation. Yes, yes. Because I realize girls are crazy. There is no point in for you to put your life at risk. Uh, yo, you get shanked. You <laughs> Listen, get shanked. There's no point in you putting your life at risk at all, because you will die. Like you will suffer. No, these undoubtedly, undoubtedly. For sure. Now I will say this: I've never been into um, astrology and all that bullshit. I'm not into it now. But I hear that shit more than ever. <laughs> I hear that shit all the time. Uh, this, that, the third. Bro, this shit is so crazy to me. How, like, this shit be so real, though. Like, a lot of... I, I know you said, like, bro, a lot of the shit be like, nah, bro, but some of these things, bro, be nah, a little bro. too detailed, bro. I promise you, Chris, on God, bro. You put down, like, let's say, like, do you know, do you know the time you were born? No. Uh, does your parents know the time you were born? Probably. Uh, but it, let me tell you, if you were to go on the internet and search up the time you were born, the day you were born, but I promise you, they know everything about you. They know how big your dick is. They know how big <laughs> the dumps you take. They know how long you take in the shower. <laughs> they know your eyesight. <laughs> but they know everything, bro. They know your blood type, my guy. Like, oh, you're probably like an old negative, but with a little bit of plus in it. Like, <laughs> Damn, what? what? Well, it's not fuel. This is blood. Like, no, no, trust us. Trust They're going to tell you, like, your favorite cocktail is. No, it's not. Yes, yes. So I say this to say that. Some of my opinions on certain things are going to be a little bit different. Not because I'm in an entanglement, but because I'm experiencing yeah. that female perspective mm-hmm. more. That's all it. So that's all I, I'm saying from this is that for for anyone that thinks because this was my literally my point of view, right? My point of view was I'm not gonna get into a relationship or anything like that because that's not meant for me. It's not that I had anything against relationships. Because a lot of people did mm-hmm, think I had something yeah. against relationships. Now, I have nothing against relationships. I used to tell you, bro, I think relationships are great, sure, you know, blah, blah. But I think that, you know, what relationships or, or any relationship with a, with a girl, right, 
gives you a point of view that's very, very, very different, right? One of my points of views where your girlfriend or whatever is like a friend, but you just fuck her, right? Now, that point of view for me hasn't truly changed too much, but it has. Do you get me? Because I now know that you share a little bit more with that person mm-hmm. because of the intimacy that yeah, you guys yeah. share. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? And by intimacy, that just means that you tend to go in deeper with that person yeah. about you. Yeah, there's an openness exactly. to it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Because you kind of know that you're going to be around each other a lot more. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know that it's you're trying to, like, cultivate something new or try to build something yeah. new. So you kind of know you kind of kind of yeah. know the ins and outs. And yeah, whatnot, you got to right? open up as to why certain things are the certain way or whatever. Exactly. And so I said this to say, like, I've been saying this before this entanglement happened, and I'm going to say it again. I was saying, I was telling your brothers, I was like, yo, every man needs a woman in their life, whether that's a mom, whether that's a girlfriend, whether that's a, a friend. sister, whatever, you name it. Mm-hmm. Because women truly do bring order to your life. Mm-hmm. Like, I find myself, do, but I, do, I don't even do things in my house that I do in this person's house. You get me? Just because, like, you see, like, like that order that they bring in their home. And you want to make sure saying, you honor right, it. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm not saying that my mom doesn't bring no. that. But, you know, you're so used to being in your house. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you're a kid. Your mom cleans the house and you run around the house all crazy. You don't give a shit about that. And I feel like that just builds up mm-hmm. onto you. I mean, you, we almost like take our, I want to say our parents like for granted because we're so around them all the time. You get me? And so what this has offered me in into, you know, perspective is just that. Like, I'm like, damn, like there are. A lot of things from myself that I didn't even know I could mm-hmm. do, right? I used to think that I wasn't a cuddly or I can really give love like that, but I've learned that I could because we all can. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it's not that it makes me some type of a different person because I say I couldn't. It just took a certain kind of person to a bring kind it of out. Moment to bring it out. For exactly. sure. That's all it was. So this experience for me has just been something of finding myself. You get me something new. You know, usually I'm so into like finance, right? Yeah. And so into like this and the third. And it's not that I've left that, but it's just that I'm kind of just trying to figure myself out a little mm-hmm. bit more this time yeah. around. You get me? And trying to see, you know, learning new mm-hmm. things, uh, literally like new experiences that it's not just about going out, doing this, doing that, but it's about understanding. Because I'm like trying to really understand this person, right? Like tr- trying to listen to mm-hmm. this person. And, you know, so that that right there, that any relationship, again, doesn't have to be a girlfriend, any girl. If you're a guy and you have that, don't take that for granted. Understand, because that perspective that a woman gives is like, damn. Yeah. And, yeah. That, and that even brings to this point where it's like, even like talking about um, like abortions earlier, you know, she brought up a good point where it's like, yo, the problem with abortions is that it's a lot of older white men, because that's trying to tell have, we women, to tell women what to do with their bodies. Yeah. You know, you don't think about things like that as a man too mm-hmm, often. Mm-hmm. You get me? So you could see how like an older white man will overlook all of that. You get me? And be like, Maybe yeah. I'm not thinking about that. You can understand that because as a man, you don't really think how you make a woman mm-hmm. feel. You get me? Again, even like even like on your day to day, right? You're talking to a girl. You probably talk to her like normal because that's how I was. I would mm-hmm. talk to a girl, and I probably still am like that for sure. But you know, I talk to girls how I treat a guy. Mm-hmm. I treat a, I treat a girl just yeah. how, exactly how I treat guys, right? It's no different. But I'm learning that there actually is a difference. Yeah, yeah. You get me? There's a big difference. Even the relationship with my sister has changed through that. You get me? And you kind of just start to see like. All of these things come up from you when you don't hold yourself back. Mm-hmm. So my biggest thing by saying this is not to just give a story, but to have everyone understand who's just listening to I'm Down, what I'm Down is about. Yeah, for sure. You get me? One of the things for me was that I wasn't allowing that to happen. Like, I was not allowing it. You get mm-hmm. me? That was a blockage. Mm-hmm. I was, you know, I lived, when it came to that romantic side, by a set of rules. You get me? That I live by get me like mm-hmm. i was like this is what i follow this is what i do this is what i'm gonna tell you yada 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 right so i will not allow certain things to happen in life and the whole thing is this like yo you got to let go if you're anybody and this goes for anything because i really do believe that life is just one full ass mm-hmm. circle and what you could apply into one situation you could definitely apply to the next for sure but the thing is that don't hold yourself back you get me because one thing i've been a victim of and i've said it before but i've realized it now there's a difference between saying it and realizing something too. Yeah. Is that I've been self sabotaged. Like I self sabotage myself all the time. Mm-hmm. And so in this case, I've realized that this has been swaying one of my perspectives. This has mm-hmm. blocking, I'm sorry, one of my perspectives. You get me? Something that I needed because this perspective right here will take me to the yeah. next mm-hmm. that next round. You get me? For sure. And that's all it is. That, that that's so 
I'm not even trying to talk about a romantic relationship because that's besides the point, right? Mm-hmm. Whoever you decide to kiss and all of the and all of that intimate stuff, that's cool and all. But I'm talking about you know a little bit deeper than that. Mm-hmm. You get me about finding yourself as a person, yeah, whether yeah. you're a man or a woman. You get me? You start to understand just different like intricacies of yourself when you're mm-hmm. in there. Because now. For me, I watch my ego so much more now because I realize, and we're, we're before I left, we we're talking about how like, we don't ever really fight because you know I've been staying with this person for like the last three weeks, like we've been living in the same environment, mm-hmm. so it's like we don't really fight, we don't fuss, nothing. You get me? Because I am co- I'm consciously trying to cater to that person. You get me? And understand that yo, mm-hmm. like you keep your house a certain way, so I want to do that. You get me? You like to do certain mm-hmm. things a certain way, so mm-hmm. I want to do the same thing because you're trying to be conscious of that. For sure. And. You may be thinking like, oh, well, you're just doing all this sweet stuff. Cool, but in the background, what's running is I'm checking my ego. Because whenever she may make a comment and I might be like, man, I'm not going to do that. Or I'm, no, it's like, yo, you start to understand that. Like, yo, don't let your mm-hmm. ego get in the way of what could be yeah. a good day. Don't let your ego get in the way of what could be a better life in mm-hmm. general. You get me? And that's one thing that I think that relationships will show you is that your ego which I said is one of your biggest downfalls, one of mankind's biggest mm-hmm. downfalls, you will constantly need to check. Because if you don't check that, yeah. that's where problems will arise. For around. sure. You get me? The open line of communication goes for everything, man. Like, everything. Like, if you do something that I don't really like, I need to let you know about that. Because what's going to happen is, if I don't let you know about that right now, and you do it again, or you do something literal again, it's going to drag mm-hmm. on, it's going to add on to... It's going to be for something sure, stupid, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so that lesson you can take on for everything though you get me in your friendships Mm -hmm. at your job anywhere you see that different perspective one of the things that i realize is that i like being managed by a woman like for example at work i rather work under a woman than a man because men really do have egos like men's egos are insane you get me and so not saying that women don't have their tics and problems because we all know women have their tics i'm gonna lie to i don't like being managed by women and it's not it's not because it's because they talk too much, bro. Whenever I have a meeting, well, I've, I've had so managers. Uh, like a dude who pissed me pissed off, and yeah. he'll just be like, yo, we screwed up here. Go fix it. Yeah. And uh, it's his mistake. I'm going to go fix it. Cool. That's it. I got no problem. Mm. But if a girl's going to talk me through everything yeah. for four hours, I can't do that, bro. Then You know what that tells me for, for so far? That that shows growth in you, though. Because you can take a man saying, yo, y'all fucked up in this. Go fix it. Mm. You can take that. Some guys can't take that. Because think about it. Because that... Cause Think about some guy telling you, like, coming at you. It's like, it doesn't matter what the situation is. Somebody coming at you is already, like, denting your mm-hmm. ego off yeah. bat. You get me? Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm saying. It shows growth because it, sh- it shows that, like, okay, like, you could brush that off and be yeah, cool. Yeah, not a matter. Some people are going to be like, yo, who the fuck does this guy think he is? Because it's harsh. Again, yeah. my experiences haven't really been the same. You get me? Like, like I've been, I haven't been, been bitched that personally, but I've heard, like, right, like, when women like, are mad, like, you know, at work, they start bitching at everybody. Again. It's way more because they're women. You can say more emotional. I don't want to get into that. But the point is that the, the whole point that I'm trying to get at and uh-huh. to bring it right back is that just for me, it's just showing me that different perspective. And every time I think about I'm down, that's what I think of. I yeah. think of, okay, I set out to say something, to do something. Is you got to live yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Experience and that, it. And that would be my I'm down moment for this time around. And that, be, and that's beautiful. Yeah, it would be that I've... You know, I'm letting myself... I'm not even... Like, this is the thing, right? Because as a guy and as someone who knows... As a guy in Miami, mm-hmm. right? This is what I want to say specifically. Because you might be living in, like, a little town. You might not understand. But a guy in Miami, I understand that women in Miami are not the best quality women, right? <laughs> Meaning, these girls like you as long as you drive a Benzo and you got a Cubano oh, on your neck. That's bad. If you got a Cubano on your neck and you drive a Benzo, all these girls are But it had to be 20? got to be 20 inches? 20 inches minimum, all right, <laughs> thick, millimeters, <laughs> millimeters here, all right? We're not talking about inches, millimeters. So, you know, I've personally decided to put that aside, you get me? Because there is also no point in you wasting your energies. I've realized mm-hmm. that, you know, us as men, we do that as a, as a defense mechanism, right? As like, oh, no, nah, but these girls are just, mm-hmm. you know, for everybody, blah, blah, blah. Yes, because a lot of these girls that we're exposed to in Miami, I'm not talking about any other city, in Miami, because this city I know. They belong to the streets. Exactly. <laughs> they belong to the streets, <laughs> right? And so, you know, I've learned to put that aside because at the end of the day, my intentions are pure. And I've learned mm-hmm. that. That when your intentions are pure, 
you don't need to worry about the actions of somebody else. You get me? Those actions will be revealed mm -hmm. and they will go away as they should be. You get me? And if that person is the right person, then that person will make the right moves, and that's it. And there's not and there's not saying that we could fuck up because as humans we fuck Everybody. up all the time. Everybody. But that's just the whole point of having an open line of, co of conversation and communication mm -hmm. is that you can talk out situations and problems, just like you were saying, just uh, even on the, on the political end or on, on the cancel culture mm -hmm. part. It's like we need to talk and have those conversations, and that's all that this is about. Yeah, for we sure. We sit here and. Lately, it hasn't been week by week. It's been week by other, other week. <laughs> but, you know, obviously we'll make, and I'm definitely going to have to make that arrangement, you know, so we can be week by week again. But the point is that, you know, we sit here and we talk about something that mm -hmm. is just meaningful to us throughout the week. You get me? That means something. Whether it's funny, whether it's dumb, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But the whole point at the end of the day is what I'm down is about. You get me? It's about saying yes to situations that you're uncomfortable mm -hmm. with and not saying yes to everything because not everything is going to benefit you don't say yes to drugs yes, uh, heroin exactly. specifically don't especially say, heroin yeah, don't, don't say, say yes <laughs> to heroin but you should say yes to a lot of things that like if you're somebody who likes to stay at home and you love being at home all the time especially those times where somebody calls you up like yo let's go out and you really don't want to go out those are the times that you got to say yes challenge yourself i've even written, again talking about that earlier today those are the things that i've realized I'm, i'll never forget this moment right i it was like maybe a tuesday Tuesday, Wednesday, right? And Chris told me, you know, the Italian place by your uh -huh. crib, right? Okay, I, I'll never forget this day, right? I go to the, I told Chris, yeah, I'm gonna meet you up for sure. This and the third, right? Like around X, mm. X amount of time, right? I don't remember what time it was gonna be. So I go to the gym that day. Right after the gym, I meet up with a friend in the gym, right? And I go to go Smoothie King. We eat Smoothie King, and I'm thinking, damn, I'm kind of full, and I gotta drive all the way to North Miami. Ah, but I don't want to do that though. But I'm like, nah. But I say yes, so I'm gonna do it. You know, nah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So I go. I remember that day, me, you, and Eddie had a, a great conversation. I don't even know what the conversation is about. I just remember the feeling of like that conversation. Mm -hmm. And I know we're talking about life and about stuff. Mm -hmm. But if I wouldn't have said yes to that, I would have never had mm -hmm. that moment. Mm -hmm. I would never yeah, had that yeah. experience. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's just all it is. Like life is all about those moments, those experiences that you have with people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, look, you could go on vacation and all big yacht and you have nobody with you mm -hmm. being alone and that's horrible yeah that's yeah. hor. again if that's who you are and that's what you want to do of course you have every freedom and every right to do what you want to do mm -hmm. but i'm just saying at the end of the day what i'm down and if you're wondering what i'm down is about is just just about that it's about saying yes to that unknown mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's about saying yes to what you're uncomfortable with sometimes for you know sure yeah and trying to like because that's how you're going to get out of your comfort zone that's how you're going to build yourself up and that's how you're going to mm -hmm. do it and become yeah more than what you are today you get me so this situation mm -hmm. has shown me that drastically you know what i'm saying and it has in this changing relationship mm -hmm. drastically because yeah. i can now understand a little bit more how a woman feels you get me how a woman mm -hmm. thinks a little bit you get me and now i can have more empathy for that because before i can understand how a man feels because i'm a man yeah myself. for sure it's easy men yeah. all the time you get me so you're going back and forth with it before my whole thing of like oh i just treat the girls how i treat guys came from not knowing what a woman feels because mm -hmm. I never had that kind of communication yeah. or that line to me. You get me? And if I would have continued to self sabotage myself, I'll still I'll still be in that same spot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Without a different point of yeah. view. So again, I make fun of my friends all the time. Oh, y'all gay for that. And I'm going to continue to be that motherfucker. <laughs> you get me? I'm going to continue to be that motherfucker no matter what. But I sad to say that is my I'm down moment. That is the lesson I've learned. Yeah. You get me? That if it wasn't for me saying yes, and for this person's persistence and energy, I wouldn't have, I would yeah. still be in the same spot. For sure, today, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think, uh, just to close it out, I think yeah. you spoke beautifully. It's, um, the the biggest adventure in life is relationships. Like, mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't mean just romantic, I mean the dynamic of any relationship. Uh, that's the biggest adventure because it's a gamble, right? It requires, uh, respect, it requires love, it requires grace, it requires understanding, it requires, uh, faith, because sometimes you just gotta jump into something you don't know if it's going to work. Uh, I always think about this Laney lyric, right, that says, and the guy's like, oh, I mean, I mean something new right now. I don't really know what it is. And I, that's how usually I describe most relationships. Because, like, even if you know you like somebody or if you know you're attracted to somebody or or if you have a paternal figure or a maternal figure or if you have a friend, every, everything feels new and, and sometimes you just don't know how the dynamic works. But you only learn as you go. Yeah. Like, no one no one else's relationship can be yours no one else's experience can be yours and so when we say i'm down is about experiences it's like have your experience have your life you know sometimes undoubtedly it's gonna hurt it's gonna suck yeah. uh you might fall flat on your face but the reward 
is better than the risk. Like yeah. it's so far greater than the risk. Yeah. So I think it's worth to just say I'm down. For absolutely. So I, I I think that's that's the best thing. You have a I'm down mm-hmm. moment or you you good? I'm good. Uh, I'm down is I'm yeah I'm back at the gym. Yeah. I'm seeing gains obviously because yeah, my body's retaking. My body's yeah. retaking. Uh, back to it, so I'm proud. I I told you I went below perpendicular. Yeah, you told me. I, I did six, yeah. so that was a pretty big deal for me. Which nice, I was like, nice. yo, I couldn't even do perpendicular once. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> parallel. Yeah, parallel. Parallel. Gotcha. parallel. And so I, I'm I'm breaking uh through planes. Oh, I'm definitely um and I'm getting more creative with my workouts because yeah. I'm trying to make sure I don't plateau in certain areas. So, yeah. uh, but definitely that compound uh lifts. Yeah. I'm definitely prioritizing you know my personal time. The fact that I'm. Almost all my ex- cur- uh, extracurricular have been canceled, has given me that time to just just be a more me, yeah. you know, because I was very busy for a while, mm-hmm. and uh, so I, I'm definitely enjoying that. I'm definitely enjoying family time. So for me, I'm down has just been um, just trying to say, let's work with what we got, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, like why am I gonna complain about not being able to to go out without a mask, or or why am I gonna complain about restaurants closing or? No, I, I'm grateful to the fact that the gym didn't close this time. I'm grateful yeah. for the fact that my family is, is healthy. I'm grateful for the fact that, that my girlfriend is, is doing extremely well in her job yeah. and, and we're good. Like, yeah. um, I'm good. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good. So good. for me, I'm down is just saying uh, whatever comes, we're going to face it. Facts, yeah. facts. All right, people. So you already know, man. If you saw this and you thought what we said today was dumb, was stupid, was ignorant was uneducational you're probably right if you watch this again and you thought that what we said was kind of smart was kind of brilliant was kind of stupendous exciting exciting intricate interesting you learned something new then you're probably right again this is i'm down